Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll begin with problem number 36. The problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. The question simply is how many hours how many hours will it take for me? To walk k kilometers if I walk at the speed of 3 kilometers per hour. If I walk at the speed of 3 kilometers per hour, I want to walk k kilometers. How many hours will it take? That's all it is. So let's take a look at it. So we know my speed is 3 kilometers, 3 kilometers in one hour. If I can walk 3 kilometers in one hour, that implies that I can walk 1 kilometer in in a third of an hour, in a third of an hour. Because I walk three kilometers in one hour, therefore one kilometer should take a third of an hour. Very simple, very straightforward. I don't want to, I don't want to walk one kilometer, I want to walk k kilometers. So that in turn implies if I can walk one kilometer in a third of an hour, I can walk two kilometers in two third of an hour. I can walk five kilometers in five third of an hour. I can walk k kilometers. I can walk k kilometers in k over three hours. That's it. The answer is k over three hours. Now, the question is: uh, If the question asks us how many minutes does it take, once we simply would have taken this answer and multiplied by sixty. How many minutes does it take? If the question tells you how many how many minutes will it take? How many minutes? Will it take for me to walk k kilometers? If I walk k kilometers per hour, we would have taken these hours and converted into minutes. And it would have been k over 3 times 60 minutes. And of course, we can't leave it like this. We have to reduce it. We see 60 on the top, we see 3 on the bottom, and we have to reduce it. 60 divided by 3 is 20, and the final answer would have been 20k minutes. 20k minutes or k over 3 hours, which makes perfect sense because the third of an hour is 20 minutes. That size 20 times k. Let's do the next one, shall we? Number 37. Number 37, let's see what it says. It says, how far can I walk? How far can I walk? in h hours if I walk at the rate of k kilometers per hour. Oh, that's just too silly. That's a silly question. It's a, it's a very simple question. Every hour if I walk k kilometers, every hour I walk k kilometers right here, k kilometers per hour, so in one hour in one hour, I can walk k kilometers. That implies that in in two hours, in in two hours, I will be able to walk two times the amount, two k kilometers. In five hours, in five hours, I would have walked five times as much. I'm not walking five hours. I'm not walking two hours. I'm walking h hours. So in h hours, I should be able to watch h times k kilometers. There is the answer. The answer is h times k kilometers. Let's move on to the next one, number 38. Number 38. We are told that a train travels, a train travels, at a speed, at a speed of k kilometers per hour. How long does it take? How long does it take to travel 200 kilometers? A journey of 200 kilometers will take how long if I'm on a train that is going at the speed of k kilometers every hour. 
Ме свои на учеби. So again, the same logic, same rationale, same method would apply. We know that we are going k kilometers in one hour. We are going k kilometers in one hour. That in turn implies that we must be going one kilometer in one k of an hour. We can go one kilometers in this many hours. We want to go 200 kilometers. Well, 200 kilometers should take 200 times the amount. This amount that we have here times 200 hours. We can't leave it like this. If it's not wrong, but you can't leave it like this. It will look better if we were to write this thing as 200 over k hours. The answer is 200 over k hours. Let's do the next one, number 39. How many minutes does it take? How many minutes? does it take to travel a miles at m miles per hour this is where this is where we have to slow down and take our time because they're mixing the units the speed is expressed in terms of miles per hour but the time that is being asked is in minutes so what we will do it will solve what we'll do is we'll solve the entire problem in terms of hours find out how many hours it takes to make the journey a journey of a miles once we have figured out how many hours it takes to make the journey we'll have to multiply those number of hours by 60 to convert those hours into minutes and that's all it is the final answer is going to be 60 times the number of hours let's, let's take a look at it shall we Again, the same system, same logic, same technique, nothing changes ever. We know we are going m miles in one hour. If we are going m miles in one hour, that implies that we must go one mile in one over m hour. We don't want to go one mile, we want to go a mile. So that in terms implies a mile should take a times one over m hours or a over a over m hours or 60 times a over m minutes because the question is asking minutes we could leave it like this 60 times a over a 60 times a over m or we can write that as 60 a over m minutes the answer is 60A over M. It will take 60A over M minutes. If you want to, if you want to verify the answer, if you want to verify the answer, you could plug in numbers and verify it if you wanted to. For example, you can plug in numbers. Say for example, if you're going uh, five miles per hour and we want to go say 20 miles. Five miles, five miles per hour, five miles per hour, and let's say we want to go 20 miles. Well, 20 miles should take four hours. Does that answer give us four hours? Let's find out. 60 times A, which is right here, A is 20, over M, which we plugged in as five. And we know we want four hours. Let's see. Oh, but this is in minutes. This is in minutes. So we can, if you want, if you want hours, get rid of 60, and you can see it's four hours. It's very simple to verify. And minutes would be 60 times as much. What number was this one? Number 39. Let's do 40. How many minutes does it take to walk one kilometer if 
a person if a person walks x kilometers in y hour if a person walks x kilometers in y hours how many minutes will it take to make a journey of 1 kilometer we want to walk 1 kilometer let's find out shall we so again we're going to first uh, we're going to first figure out how many hours it takes to walk 1 mile 1 kilometers whatever it is and then just multiply it by 60 to convert our final answer of hours into minutes do you understand but don't forget to do that part they're asking us how many minutes so what is given to us is x kilometers in y hours x kilometers in y hours that in turn implies we should be able to walk 1 kilometers in y over x hours that's it we're done and if y over x hours y over x hours is same as y over x times 60 minutes or 60y over x minutes 60y over x minutes that's all it is again if you want to verify we could very quickly verify by plugging in numbers let's say we want to do 6 kilometers let's say we want to say we want to walk 6 kilometers we are walking how if, if a person walks 6 kilometers in 2 hours okay listen carefully 6 kilometers in 2 hours we're going to plug in 6 for x and 2 for y to, y to verify our answers if you're walking 6 kilometers in 2 hours Listen very carefully, 6 kilometers in 2 hours, that implies that you must be walking 3 kilometers in 1 hour. If you're walking 3 kilometers in 1 hour, if, if it's walking 3 kilometers in 1 hour, 3 kilometers in 1 hour, that implies that 1 kilometer will take, will take 20 minutes. And again, I shouldn't have to write all of this down, you just do it in your head. 20 minutes is the answer. Does that give you 20 minutes? Let's find out. Because this, this is in minutes. So we have 60 times y, what did we plug in for y? We plugged in 2 for y, you see right here, 2 for y over 6. There you go, 6 divided by 60 is 10, and 10 times 2 is 20, which is exactly what we said it should take. The journey should take 20 minutes to make, to walk 1 kilometers, if the person was walking 6 kilometers, if the person was walking at the rate of 6 kilometers every Two hours. I know.